Corn is one of the most popular foods in the world. Each year, more than 1 billion tons are harvested. Corn cobs go through a long process to become grains. But how are more than 150,000 tons of corn produced each year? Today, I will show you how to harvest and produce canned corn. The corn should be ripe enough to be juicy and tender, but not overcooked, as this can make the kernels hard and flavorless. Canned corn is harvested from mid-August to mid-October. Farmers use machines, specializing in harvesting sweet corn. People use corn harvesters with blades adjusted to the appropriate height to cut the ears from the stalks. The cob of corn is carefully cut from the plant. It is important to make this cut cleanly to avoid damaging the kernels and to ensure the cob remains intact. Harvesting capacity is 140 tons per day. The corn stalks are cut right on the ground. Then the ears are removed and shot into containers as the large pile filled bins are transferred to trucks that go straight to the mill so the corn can be processed on the cob and visually inspected. To ensure that they meet the required quality standards, damaged, overripe, or improperly sized corn are eliminated from these basic options to ensure that only the best quality corn is available. Once the harvested and grated corn is transported to the processing plant, the cob is transported quickly, ensuring plant freshness is essential to maintaining the quality of the product. Factories are often located close to the growing area to reduce transportation time and preserve the freshness of the corn. In order to preserve most of the nutritional value of the product for sale, many trucks carry corn. This size will be needed to unload to accommodate the 150,000 tons of corn canned here annually. This process begins with the appearance of the cob. Trucks unload the mountain of corn at the factory, and then the machine pushes the cobs onto the conveyor belt where the cobs are visually inspected. At this stage, workers inspect the corn to ensure it meets established quality standards after inspecting the corn as it is prepared for the peeling and canning process. This involves removing the outer leaves and hairs from the cob, which is transported to the mill. This conveyor machine is designed to effectively peel and clean corn cobs. This device removes leaves and hairs around the cob in just a few seconds. Once the cob has been inspected and prepared, the next step is to separate the kernels. At this stage, the corn kernels are first separated from the corn cob which will have to go through a grain separator equipped with many counter-rotating cylinders. To produce large quantities, specialized peeling machines are used, designed to separate seeds efficiently and evenly. The kernels are separated from the cob as they pass through the machine. In less than a second, each of these devices separates more than a ton of particles per hour. The corn kernels fall in the middle while the cob moves itself to many sides. The particles enter this rotating drum, which removes any portion larger than the particle. Nothing is wasted in the process. The remaining corn husks and cobs will later be used as animal feed. The grain then falls into a mixture consisting of water and liquid obtained by cutting the corn kernels. This liquid mixture allows the particles to be transported without damaging them, and then the particles will flow along this belt. Millions of corn grains will move along conveyor belts, stretching like golden rivers for a while, making them clean. The corn kernels undergo another visual inspection at this stage. Discolored or damaged kernels are discarded. Selection is critical to ensure that only the highest quality beans make it to the next step of the process.
The next step is soaking the corn kernels in boiling water for a short time. The main goal of blanching is to inactivate the natural enzymes present in corn, which can degrade the color, flavor, and texture of the corn over time, especially during blanching storage. In this cylinder, a large screwdriver brings the blanched beads to the surface. They are visually inspected to verify the quality of the beads. The blanching process usually lasts about four to five minutes. During this time, the corn kernels are soaked in boiling water to help prevent enzyme activity and to fix the color and texture. It is important to precisely control the blanching time and temperature to avoid overcooking the corn kernels after blanching. The corn kernels are removed immediately from the boiling water, and this quick cooling process stops cooking and helps maintain the freshness and texture of the corn. Cooling also helps preserve the natural color and prevents overcooking after the corn kernels have been blanched and cooled. The next step is canning. This process involves placing corn kernels into previously prepared and sterilized boxes. Thousands of cans of all sizes are brought to the filling department. Can filling is done using this rotary filling machine. This filling machine can process from 350 to 450 cans per minute, the particles falling to the side. They are then collected in this cylinder and returned to the filling line. The corn kernels are poured into the can, filling it to a predetermined level. It is important to leave enough space at the top of the can, called the tip, to allow for expansion of the liquid and granules during heat treatment. After filling the can with corn kernels, coating liquid is added. This liquid, which typically includes water, salt, and sugar, has several purposes. It helps preserve the freshness and quality of the corn. It enhances the flavor and provides a solution. Make sure the corn kernels are completely submerged and not covered. Once the cans are filled with corn kernels and coating liquid, they are sealed. This is usually done using a machine that automatically applies heat and pressure to the can lids. The lids are securely placed on the containers, but the canning is not yet complete as they have to conduct some testing that is very important. They carry out these laboratory tests to ensure the quality of the product. Airtight packaging is very important to prevent bacterial penetration and ensure safety and quality. This step is very important to ensure food safety because it helps eliminate harmful microorganisms and helps preserve canned corn for a long time. The sealed containers are placed in an autoclave, which is a device designed to generate heat and pressure. The doors are closed and the heat treatment begins the sterilization process, which is carried out in this oven at a temperature of 250 degrees Celsius and lasts for four to six minutes. The applied heat will destroy disease-causing microorganisms and enzymes that can affect product quality and safety. This sterilizes the can, so it will keep the corn fresh for many years. Once the sterilization process is complete, the cans are removed from the autoclave and gradually cooled. Cooling is an important stage to avoid overcooking the corn and ensure that the can is not damaged by sudden changes in temperature. So cans of sweet corn at this stage are ready to be labeled. The label contains the following information. Important information such as production date, expiration date, ingredients, nutritional value, batch code. After labeling, cans are packed into boxes. Canned corn boxes are pre-produced and stored in facilities. Temperature and humidity conditions are controlled and distributed to stores and supermarkets if desired. Sweet corn is very rich in calories. So if you are underweight, you can use sweet corn to help you gain weight. 100 grams of sweet corn contains 342 calories, making your daily nutritional regimen very high. Rich in magnesium, iron, 
vitamin B, and protein to help increase the connection between cells and bones and joints in your body. Therefore, if you regularly eat boiled corn, it will limit bone pain in the elderly. Hopefully today's video will help you better understand how to process canned corn. Please leave me your comments below this video. And if you want us to make a video about something, please comment to let us know now. Goodbye and see you in the next video.